And this is the road reel. Hi, my name is Peter Perosi, and I'm the director of Shakespeare's Rose. The idea came to us, and a good friend of mine, who was a writer, he and I just brainstormed uh, until we came up with an idea, and he said, well, what if we just took a bunch of classic characters and kind of spliced them together from different plays, from different, you know, genres. We actually had this kind of meeting on April 23rd, this year, which was uh, Shakespeare's Bicentennial. I started with the idea of one-man theater, and we wanted to do female characters because Shakespeare's male characters tend to be rather the same. They're, they're boring, they're not interesting. And so we thought, what would be more interesting would be to have multiple female characters from different plays all interact in one space, give them a chance to play off each other like they wouldn't normally in any of his actual classical text. Every single night what we gotta do is we gotta put up moving blankets, we gotta put up curtains, anything to dampen the sound, and it, we achieve it. it. It was a challenge. It was a challenge. That is the real reason why we decided to do this film the way we did it, is it was challenging. It wasn't easy. There was nothing easy about it. I mean, I, I did not encounter anything. The only easy part was the fact that our actress was so good. I'm Amelia Fisher, and I play Juliet and Olivia and Lady Macbeth and Lair Shep. The challenge of getting to play four different characters in the same project uh, it was something that was really interesting to me. Every character we had had a theme to their, you know, to their costumes and a theme to their um, to their setting that we created. And we took the metaphor rose, the, you know, the rose, the, the visual imagery of the rose, and we broke it down. Laertia, um, the most grounded of them. The, I wouldn't say the most grounded, but the most conservative. There are no soft-spoken, restrained female characters to Shakespeare's credit. So we took Laertes, who's lines are somewhat chauvinistic, but from a female mouth are restrained and conservative. So we gender bent Laertes into Laertia. Trying to think, you know, what would honor the plays that these characters are originally from, as well as this point of view, and what would that look like in today's society? You know, who is the more conservative person? Who is, uh, what does carefree look like? It's a credit to Shakespeare's writing skills that the characters can play off of each other so flawlessly despite never actually being in the same space. I'm really happy to have been a part of it. I'm really happy to have decided to do this. Yes! It's Nailed it! <laughs>